The 1700s were a time when English society was polarized, when the Enlightenment had led people to believe they no longer needed God, when the rich struggled with materialism and the poor with lack of necessities. Into this world, a priest and Oxford professor named John Wesley began preaching a simple message that invited people to a passionate faith that would unite the head and the heart and the hands. His message fostered a revival of Christianity in England and across America. Now today we find ourselves in a world much like Wesley's, polarized, where faith seems to falter and the gap between rich and poor widens. Many of us have a faith in need of reviving. Over the next six weeks, I'm gonna take you on a journey to Wesley's England. We're gonna begin in the town of Epworth, where Wesley grew up, and we'll, we'll ponder the way that his family and the, and the movements that were happening in the country at that time shaped the faith that would so impact our own faith today. And then I'm gonna take you to the town of Oxford, where he became a professor, and then began to mentor college students. And as he mentored them, the first Methodist movement was born. Next, the city of London, where Wesley was meeting in a house, a Bible study in a house on Aldersgate Street, where he finally felt he completely trusted in Christ and, and his heart was strangely warm. Next, we'll go to the port city of Bristol on the southwest coast of, of Great Britain. And it was there that Wesley began preaching out of doors to reach the coal miners and other non-religious and nominally religious people. Then we'll return to London, to the City Road Chapel, which is Methodism's mother church, and to this house that was located next door. And finally, we'll come to the very place, the bedroom, where Wesley spoke his final words and left a legacy for the rest of us. So join us over the next six weeks as we travel to England, as we study a bit of our own history as Methodists, as we reclaim and rediscover the message of scriptural Christianity that Wesley preached so that we might experience in our own lives a modern day revival.